Solid advice, Tominook. Thank you. Oh, wait. Whoops. Hello everyone, my name is Luna Fial, and welcome or welcome back to our Animal Crossing Island IV. Last time we did some decorating for our entrance area and it came out looking pretty cute. Overall, I'm really happy with how things are looking so far. And because I really want to keep using some of the Halloween furniture with all the pumpkins, I decided that the next build we should probably get working on is the pumpkin patch. So off camera, I did a little bit of work with just coming up with a path and a little area here for us to have all our pumpkins. I'm not sure if this is how it's going to stay in terms of orientation of the pumpkins and all that, but I needed to start growing some pumpkins so I could keep crafting all the Halloween furniture. Before we get started building, of course we have to see if there's anything good. Oh. Oh yeah, I accidentally, so I time traveled to October just to get the spooky vibes and apparently it's Halloween, so they're all dressed up and it's adorable and I'm going to pick this up. Now that all that's out of the way, I think I'm going to get started with, I don't know, whatever I'm going to do here. Again, I have, I have vibes that I want, but I don't really have a solid plan, so we'll just, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. Hey, it's voiceover Luna. So as I was saying a little bit earlier, I really didn't have a solid plan again for this build. Uh, I was really inspired by a farm that I went to with my family when I was younger when we'd pick out pumpkins. Um, they had kind of a little store like this that had plants and everything in the front and they would have uh, different gourds and like little pumpkins they would have and that they had grown things like that random vegetables they also had like a little bakery shop um and that was inside the bakery shop everything else was outside so i wanted to kind of mimic that a little bit it was a lot of trial and error i knew i wanted to use some stalls but like i didn't want to use a ton <laughs> again a lot of trial and error but i wanted to try and capture that vibe it had like it was called whitney's and it had a little shop on the left and then you'd cross to the right and that's where the pumpkin patch was and that inspired the layout of the pumpkins that you see where it's like two rows and then a big row on the end and there was also like a corn maze and they had silly little cutouts that you could put your face in of like spooky characters and little ghosts and stuff like that uh so i wanted to try and mimic that the best i could obviously there's some things that aren't going to be quite perfect because it is animal crossing but i still had a lot of fun uh trying to create something that was inspired by that over here i end up putting a little pumpkin carving area i feel like that's pretty standard for a fall slash halloween island to have um i got this spooky table when i was working on growing all the pumpkins and I was like, yes, perfect. <laughs> um, there's still a few things that I'd like to add. Like I don't have the cutting board DIY and I feel like that would be really perfect um, to put on the table along with everything else, but getting a little ahead of myself and it still ends up looking really cute. And you see Lolly walking around. I think Eric was walking around here too. So it was nice to have little company in the villagers that love to get in the way, but they're cute, so we'll make an exception. Something that I did want to talk about is the fact that I don't think I'm going to get this island done before Halloween. Um, I missed last week uh, for uploading a video because I wasn't feeling well and a few other things that happened, so I just couldn't upload. Um, but I was looking at the weeks and I just don't think I'm going to be able to get the video or I just don't think I'm going to be able to get the uh, entire island done before October 31st in real life, not in game October 31st. Um, and honestly, I don't really mind that. I think it would be kind of fun to do like just different seasonal builds and, you know, maybe have like a completed version of Ivy once once it's done in whatever season that's in uh i don't really know what season that's gonna be at this point but i think it'd be fun to be able to do some some different builds for the holidays or different themes uh depending on what the vibes are of course um i do kind of want to decorate for like the winter and christmas i think that'd be fun i want to do maybe like a pastel winter island i think that'd be fun we'll see um but for now 
having so much fun and decorating all of the spooky areas here. I think the next build that we do is going to be the big lake pond thing, whatever you want to call it, the large body of water. <laughs> I think that's going to be up next um, and that's going to be like directly above this area. I spent a little bit of time after I actually finished this build, like looking at the map, trying to figure out where everything would go because I end up not making this build as large as I thought it was going to be when I was doing uh, the map layout, which honestly I think worked out for the better. But one thing I did notice when I was doing the map layout is I didn't put my house on the map. Like I have all the villager houses and all the shops, everything like that, but I didn't pick out where I wanted my house to be. So that's, that's going to be something we have to figure out, but it should be fun. Um, also, speaking of things that I do on the island, so this little arch tile area for the store next to the little pumpkin patch. I ended up making it a really weird shape. I didn't need to in the end. I just ended up like walling it off and it looks like a straight line. Like there was no reason for me to have that weird little indent. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I think I had a different vision in my head, but it, this ended up just looking okay. So I stuck with this. Uh, storefront are 10 out of 10 items. Really gives the the kind of older building vibe. I might go back and add some to the other side just to make it look a little bit thicker. I don't know if that's the right word, but to like make the building look a little bit more substantial because from any other angle from the front, you're like, that's just like a weird little wall thing, but we'll see. I mess around a lot with the fencing in this area, not too, too much, but I wasn't sure if I wanted it to go all the way across or, you know what I wanted to do with it, but I think it ends up looking kind of nice. I do change up the outside edge, you'll see in a little bit, um, in favor, oh, there's Eric, in favor for uh, the little river that I end up doing that, again, was not on the original map, and I'll put that up here so you can see what the heck I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, that wasn't originally planned, the little river thing, but I think it ends up working out once I, you know, move my house and move the campsite that you'll see are very much in the way, but that is all right. For the campsite, I am thinking about having it kind of in the middle island, in the middle of the lake. I think that would be really cool. And then trying to figure out how you would get to it, because I was going back and forth with using the pipe, but then having little, like, uh, steps that you can hop across, because I don't love... The way the pipe looks and I'd want it to be visible so you're like oh you know you can head to the campsite through there so I don't know but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there here you see me working on that little pumpkin carving area I have a knife block and I drop some pumpkins and I have the little spooky lantern that I put down there I think it gets the vibe across again I like how this area looks the little pumpkin carving area but there are still a few things I think could help uh, the overall area and here I'm just doing a little path down to the beach because it kind of gets blocked off by the pumpkin patch. Um, I might just do like a little generic beach thing. It might be cute actually to do like a little restaurant or something, a little eating area. Hmm. Now I'm, now I'm, brain is braining. <laughs> maybe I'll end up doing that. That would be kind of cool maybe. Um, this pattern I actually, Got, oh, there was my cat. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the pattern that I'm putting down now, um, I got a while ago. I honestly don't remember where I got it from or why I have it, but I wanted to have, again, like a little area here to put stuff on that was kind of broken up from the rest of it, um, as in from the leaf and leafy path that you see uh, that are the main paths that I use in this area. Um, but I didn't want to use the tile again. <laughs> Don't you love when you're in the middle of a build and you just run around because you're like, what do I do? Because that's that was me. I was like, hmm, what do I put here? Look at that, perfection. This is why you just you put stuff down and you hope for the best. <laughs> uh, I add a few trees and trees always make the world of a difference. We love trees. And also there is a clear custom design there so I can put a bush very sad. Um, but the trees do, they do a lot of work here. Looks good. Looks good. Uh, and I still am in a tree shortage because for some reason I cut down all my trees, just every single one of them. Uh, I have 
a handful of fruit trees of each kind, and then all of the trees that I have on my island you can see in both my entrance and this area. It's very uh, compact. Um, I also spent a lot of time in the front of my uh, pumpkin patch, like where that wall of hedges is, and it just... Something looks weird about it. I am not sure if I want to like mix in some trees or something or change that up, but I wanted some sort of divide between the store area and the pumpkin patch. So I was like, oh, fencing, perfect. But I feel like there's not enough height, so it looks kind of funky. Um, so again, I might I might go back and change a few things. Um, but of course I'll show you if I do make any changes. Um, yeah, now we are working on the outer edge of the little shop area, and when in doubt, just, just put a lot of flowers. You know, we have- I have two flower beaches that are just excessively large, so, you know, put those- put those suckers to work. Might as well. And we are almost done here. You see, that's where the river mouth is for the aforementioned river that I was talking about. Um, and that is going to lead into the big pond, um, and I think it'll look pretty cool. And you see me messing with it here, and my house is very much in the way, very much not the current vibes, but that is all right. Um, I don't know what kind of vibes I want for the house. I think it would be cool to have it like a haunted house or something. Hello, my cat is, is talking to me. Um, maybe like a haunted house or something because I'm going to have the houses uh, the villager houses all together for the trick-or-treating area, so maybe like a different vibe with the character house or something, but we'll see. Um, this is where I had to actually go and <laughs> buy some trees because, again, we are running out of those. But don't worry, we have flowers and bushes. We, we got those covered. Um, but yeah, eventually this will be a wider river. For now, it's just to get the separation across and get the idea across. So, uh, what do we think? I still don't know if I love the area where the pumpkins are. Maybe it'll look a little better once those few trees are grown in, but everything else I really like. I think it's very cute. We got our little shop area up here. Little snacks, some little flowers. This eventually will be a river, but for now it is just a little stream. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing, and have a great day!